Following jumper good for Bobby Swift. A former Sonic finally leaves his foreclosed home, but leaves behind a disturbing mess. I don't know how anyone could live in a place like this. Tonight, our cameras take the shocking first look inside. Lovely way somebody lives. As the new homeowners see the aftermath of Robert Swift's stay. It's pretty awful in here. Come on, first, John Humbert has been on this story from the beginning. He's live tonight at the house in Sammamish. And John, what you found inside that place is kind of tough to even look at. It's very, very difficult, and this massive dumpster tells you pretty much everything you need to know. The new owners brought it in in order to empty out the mansion. It's filled with trash and beer bottles, but also the memories of a man who was once supposed to be Seattle's basketball savior. At last, a sunny day in Sammamish. This is the new home. Yet inside, Eric Dalzell made dark discoveries. It was a shocker. It was definitely a shocker. This is now his home and his deck filled with dog feces. Right now it's pretty unsanitary and super unsafe to be walking around here. This is his kitchen. Lovely way somebody lives. Lots of pizza boxes. But laying on top of one of those boxes, a photo of the man who used to live here. Former Sonic's top draft pick Robert Swift owned this house. Faced with the threat of eviction last week, he left the foreclosed home. But so much was left behind that needed to be removed. Holes in the wall. Either a bat hit it or a fist hit it. Piles of trash overflowing everywhere. It's pretty foul in here. It uh, smells like a lot of stale, stale rotting beer. The first thing you get when you walk in the door is kind of a whiff of whatever is festering in here. Downstairs, there was a box filled with letters from big time college programs talking about scholarships and majors. Some of them were never even opened. Swift went right into the NBA from high school. The couple also found knives and other weapons around the house. Yeah, there's guns everywhere. And they were apparently used downstairs. It's almost like a body torso that they were shooting at. Bullets and BBs grazed load-bearing beams and the foundation was seemingly used to stop the slugs. I think I'll be finding shell casings for the next month and a half, two months. The Dalzells just wish they could have helped Robert. He never came to the door, he never talked to any of us. We came multiple times, we sent him letters, we left him letters. A life of promise leaving behind the tarnished hopes of what could have been. Now, Swift is not going to have to go to court over this. Today, the couple's legal lawyer pulled any of that legal action against him. As far as Swift's whereabouts, those are simply not known at this point. At no point in the last week and a half did he come to the door to speak with us. Jessica and Eric say it's going to take about two months to completely rehab this home, make it move in ready to become their dream home. Reporting live in Sammamish, John Humbert, Kummel 4 News.